Hi everyone, my name is Shauna Spence and I'm a registered dietitian based in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to be making an apple compote recipe. So the apple compote that I'm going to be making, it can be paired with both breakfast as well as lunch or dinner. I'm gonna be making the breakfast version with some oats, some chia seeds. Has a lot of staying power to keep us full throughout the day. And for our lunch or our dinner portion, I'm gonna be pairing it with some chicken sausage as well as asparagus and sweet potato. Also, there will be recipe cards at the end of the video, so just make sure to stay tuned instead of writing everything down. That way you can save it for later and use it whenever you wish. All right, I have my bowl of chopped apples here. You can see the green and red variety really nicely. You can also see that I did keep the skin on. I always keep the skin on um, fiber, 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 and also antioxidants. So the flame is on just so it can start cooking nicely. So I have my cloves, my nutmeg, my cinnamon all in this little bowl. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. And since I have the cinnamon sticks, I'm just gonna add a couple here and just throw them into the pot as well. I like to put raisins in mine. You don't have to do that, that's optional. I just like raisins. So I'm just gonna let this cook like this for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna add in the liquid. So then I'm gonna add in the apple juice and the vanilla. Nice to use something, um, some sugar, I guess you could say, or sweetener, that's already coming from the fruit. I prefer to use apple juice, and of course, look for 100% juice, right? And it says no sugar added. So all of this sugar is coming from the apples. And this I don't measure, actually. So I just pour the apple juice kind of hear it sizzling until it is level with the apples. Or I'm also going to put in the vanilla extract. Right, so that's like probably about a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna put that in and then it's going to be covered so it can soften a little bit more. And then after that, I'm going to add probably about a tablespoon of flour just to thicken it. Okay, so we have cut up our sweet potatoes and I have them here on a baking sheet, spread out, ready to go in the oven. So an update on the apple compote. Okay, our apple compote is ready. I put the flour in and you can see how it thickens, right? So right now it's cooling. So I put it on a nice cool part of the stove. So the sweet potatoes are gonna go in the oven and they're gonna cook for about 20 minutes. And in that time, I am going to be making the chicken sausage as well as the oatmeal. This is a sweet apple flavor variety. When you go to the store, there's so many different options. It is a nice source of protein. So one link is 12 grams of protein. So what I'm going to do basically is just heat up the sausage on the stove in a pan. It's already cooked and just as is. Like I'm not gonna add any spices to it. It's good by itself. Our asparagus is gonna be steamed, so I just have to cover it and then it's just gonna steam and then we're ready to go. All right, so our lunch and dinner portion is complete. So we're going to put everything in Tupperware and that is going to be ready for the week. And then on to breakfast. Next up for our breakfast, so chia seeds. So the thing about chia seeds is that they're good um, for getting in your omega-3s. 
So omega-3s are our healthy fats. Also, chia seeds are high in protein as well. So you're getting both the fiber and the protein, which is great. So our chia seeds are gonna be mixed with our oats. This is gonna cook just according to directions. Um, so just whatever brand you buy, just make sure you're following the directions. So I'm gonna cook these and we're ready to go. Just came off the stove, you can see it's super thick. So I have my yogurt. I'm just gonna add it in directly here. You can use um, milk to make it creamy. I like to use yogurt because again, it's just that added protein. It keeps me full. Also probiotics. Probiotics are good for our gut health. Um, our microbiome is super important. Um, it's the center of basically our health for our bodies. So we always need that good bacteria in our system. And yogurt is a great source of probiotics. We're gonna put it everything in little bowls. We're gonna add our compote and then we have our breakfast. So I just put the apple compote right on top, right? Our oats and chia seeds, you can kind of see it there at the bottom. And this can be eaten cold or it can be heated up in the morning depending on your mood. And we have a lot of fiber in this meal. We have a lot of protein in this meal. So it's really gonna keep you full. It's going to give you energy and it's just a really great way to start your morning. And I have apple compote left over. So this is great because what I like to do is I like to snack on it. I'm not gonna lie, I eat it just like that. Or I still have some yogurt here. It can be eaten with the yogurt. And you know, if you have some dessert, hey, ice cream. It's great on ice cream. So our meals are ready to go. Overall, it took about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half just because we're dealing with um, our dinner version and also our breakfast version, so it took a little bit longer. I'm going to be posting the recipe cards after this, so just make sure to get your phone ready, your camera ready, whatever you use, so you can get in that screenshot, okay? Ready? And I just wanted to thank you again for joining me. And I really do hope that you loved these recipes and cooking just as much as I do. So thank you.